Hello everyone! In this video, I am going to show you how to host your static website on Firebase. So this is an example of the website that I just created. It's just a simple website that just show a an H1 and an image logo. Firebase offers a free database for developing applications as long as you don't meet the minimum usage limit. The reason I am going to show you hosting first is because there are specific functions in Firebase that requires the application to be hosted first. For example, in Sign In by Google or Facebook, it requires you to be locally hosted first or web hosted. So first, in order to start with Firebase hosting, you're going to need to install Node.js. You can watch other video tutorial for installing Node.js, but I'm gonna put the link of the Node.js website in the description. Let's start. Now, open your project on Firebase console. On the left, na on the left navigation, click on Build and click Hosting. Click Get Started. Copy this code and open your command prompt. Now paste this code and click enter. If this doesn't work, you need to install Firebase first to your computer. So first, type npm install Firebase and click enter. If mine was different from what was showing on your command prompt, don't worry, maybe because I already have Firebase long time ago. Next, log into your Firebase account. Click. Copy this code and enter it in the command prompt. As you can see, mine is already logged in, so I'm going to show you if it's logged out. I'm gonna copy this code and enter into my browser and click the account that I'm going to use. Click allow. Now you can see that Firebase CLI is logged in successful. It's also show in the command prompt that you're already, already logged in. Now in order to run your in order to initialize, initialize your project, copy this code, Firebase initialize, and click and enter in the command prompt. Oh. I forgot to say that if you need to redirect your directory on CMD first before entering the before initializing your project. So for me, my, mine is on desktop. Its name is Project One. And now I will get going. I'm going to initialize my project. Firebase init. Click yes. So as you can see, these are the features of Firebase database that offers that Firebase that offers for hosting your file. If you if you use real time database or Firestore, press space to them. But in this tutorial, I'm just gonna go with hosting. Configure file for Firebase. So press space and click enter. Choose an existing project and use the existing project that we already created. So on this one, you just, you just need to type the name of the folder that you're gonna use as your public directory. 
So for me, I prefer to let it stay on public folder. So choose choose N, no, and another no. As you can see, Firebase initialization is complete. If you look into your files, you will see that there is a public folder and other Firebase files. You need to move the files that you need in the website to the public fol folder in, or in order for you to see it in the browser. So I'm gonna copy my In order for you to see it, you need to deploy it. So copy this Firebase deploy and open your command prompt. Now copy this web hosting URL and open it in your browser. As you can see now, mine is already hosted web in the website, online I mean. So this is how you initialize your project on Firebase hosting. In the next video, I will discuss all the Firebase hosting functions and how to host your file locally or through web with its own domain. I hope you learned something and please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Thank you. Peace out.